so hello guys welcome in this video we'll talk about operation of ebds on board so we have two types of ebd non-chargeable and chargeable so in this video we will only talk about the left hand side non-chargeable ebd and in the second part of the video in next video we'll talk about the chargeable ebd so my third officer will explain the operations part so let's continue good morning guys today i'll be explaining you about the ebds which are carried on board generally there are two types one is rechargeable and one is not rechargeable in these two types we will get various types of uh, what we call ebds from the various types of companies so i have these two on boards right now this one is non rechargeable and this one is rechargeable okay so first we will talk about non rechargeable in non rechargeable we have two types if one is for training and one is for the actual emergency which is kept at uh, various uh, designated places so uh, how to know about which one is for the training and which one is for the real emergency it will it is clearly mentioned here you can read from here that ebd for trainer and ebd which is for actual emergency so it will be always in a blue color and the ebd which one is used for the emergencies in orange color so first we have to check for this pressure because we cannot feel this on board if it gets empty we have to land it ashore or otherwise we have to ask for the new one so for checking the pressure simply they have provided one slide tightening hole here you can check from the yes you can see that the arrow is between uh, arrow is on the green part of this uh, pressure gauge i will open it and i will show you so that you can get a clear view of this see always uh, when you take the round for checking this abd check for the pressure always for this non rechargeable now here yeah, arrow is on green. green part it means it is fully charged or within a limit means you can use it for 15 minutes so i will demonstrate you uh, demonstrate ebd with you uh, with this uh, trainer because i don't want to use this one because once i opens the seal of this one it will get expired so you can see here so they have given a notice lifting yellow lever voids warranty so i don't want to use this one when you before see ebds are almost similar just we are using this one for training purpose and this is for actual emergency the same type of seal is provided on training ebd also you can see the yellow color we have to lift this up and your top cover will release so same uh, same in this only, also only this casing which is on this part this this plastic cover this is the top part we which is move. missing over here the top part which is missing on the training part okay so let's start with this assume that i have opened the yellow color seal after that it will look like this one. so you have to pull out this strap yellow strap this is called a neck strap okay so once you pull this yellow strap it will come out this one and one most important thing they have given a locking here because when we are opening this one we have to give a jerk so that the gas bottle is released like this after giving this jerk your gas will release and it will fill your collection bag which will give you an indication how much air uh, is remaining into the bag so means with how much air is, is remaining this is the main important part you have to look for this also that your seal is open or not if it is not then you have to make it open manually, manually. so this is the next next step you have to put in your neck see the oxygen is already running because we have opened the seal and this is the cartridge it will refill it is it will refill your bag fully then after that of so emergency we have maybe we have a smoke or any uh, dangerous gases around around, uh, around us so they have provided one good connection to block our nose like this okay so now your oxygen is already running into this so the thing which you have to do is just put this in your mouth and you can start breathing with your mouth it's just for the escape purpose 
it will run around for 15 minutes and it also depends upon the person who is wearing it the time limit normally it's for 15 minutes but it will change if some person is breathing very heavily so it will take it will finish in 11 minutes or so 12 minutes or so but normally on the average basis it is calculated for 15 minutes so it should be used for the 15 minutes and one one important thing i want to tell you that once you pull out this ebd from the case the oxygen will start running continuously for the 15 minutes there will be a no stopping wall or something like so that you can stop the you can hold the oxygen for longer time or afterwards you want to use after 2 minutes or after 5 minutes it's not like it's not like that once you remove it seal is broken then it will run continuously for 15 minutes so once you remove this one don't wait for anything just use put it in your mouth and run away from the place because as you can see the air um the air will be continuously coming out from this you won't have much time or you won't have anything to stop it the air will, you will have a loss of air so once you remove this try to wear it and put it in the mouth put those nose blocker and run away from those please that's it to show other thing is on this for inspection purpose you cannot inspect these things because this is always locked as you can see this is the main original one so this is always locked there is no inspection to inspection purpose you only have to check the oxygen which is as per the indicator that's all there is no other ins uh, inspection thing which you can do only just for maybe superficial damages or anything the condition of bag the condition of strap these things the bottle you cannot check anything so for monthly inspection you just have to check your bottle pressure which you can see from this indicator that's it and the annual inspection date and that's how it will close it this is the actual one which is kept for example on this place which is always at designated places so you just for monthly inspection you have a card over here you sign your card check the pressure that's all monthly inspection you can do on this nothing which you are seeing over here these things you cannot check this because once you open this it is with the validity of uh, the ebd is gone then you have to send it to shore to recharge it so this is just for training purpose so we we can open it as many times as we like so now before finishing of this video there are three points which i would like to add which we have not said during our video the first point is that in every ebd there is a relief wall this relief wall is given so that in case of an over pressurization the extra air or oxygen will be removed from there so that small mesh or small dot which you are seeing that is that relief wall for this particular ebd and the second point is in this ebd you can see there is a scrubber unit as we know that we are breathing in and breathing out from the same mouthpiece from that same mouthpiece we are also breathing in and we are breathing out so whatever we are breathing out the carbon dioxide which we are breathing out that is been filtered by the lithium hydroxide filter which is there in this scrubber unit so that when we are breathing in we are only breathing in oxygen when we are breathing out that carbon dioxide is filtered so that is that scrubber unit the third thing these ebds are not given in cabins these are not given in cabins in cabin you will have your own personal rechargeable ebds these ebds are only kept in places from which we have escapes in your personal cabin you will have a rechargeable ebd so that's it with the video in next part of the video we will see how to use a rechargeable ebd and what all things are there in a rechargeable ebd thank you